So I want to talk about the actor strike a little bit because, you know, that's still going on. And unless someone reports on some celebrity bitching about something, I kind of forget that it's going on because every time you hear a comment about a celebrity, it's like, because of the actor strike, they can't actually be allowed to comment on anything. So like, for example, Rachel Ziegler wore a shirt letting everyone know how she felt. And I think it's a little weird that, like, if you ever watch this channel at all, you know that I don't really care for the idol worship that goes among, along with the celebrities. And so someone is going to take offense by this video and be like, well, they're famous, so who are you? You know, like, like when I talk shit about uh, Andrew Tate, it really wasn't talking shit. It was more like acknowledging his previous behaviors, and people are just like, Oh, yeah? Making fun of Top G? Where's your supercar? And it's like, believe it or not, I'm a normal human being. <laughs> I don't give a shit about supercars and, and being crazy rich or any of that shit. I really want to just be, like, comfortable. But with this actor strike, you know, people are, are giving attention to folks that are really kind of screaming for attention by not saying anything. By going on the strike, they're, they're trying to get notice for people that are not get, that are getting underpaid or, or whatever which is fine you know they're like oh we want the writer the writers have joined cuz they want to get better pay and oh you know we want better pay for the backup actors and all the extras and stuff and i think that's not a terrible uh, purpose to have but it's like they're kind of only thinking about themselves like the small circle of people that make themselves look good you know that make the actors look good cuz let's be honest well, they're not they haven't really talked much about like the camera people or the audio people or the costume people or the set designers or the special effects people like there's there's a whole crew involved in making any kind of production and the fact that they want us to just hold our breath and and support everything they do because well the actors need more money it's like do they i don't i really don't think they do now I'm not one of those people that's like, oh, I'm gonna boycott everything. Uh, some stupid because some stupid actor said something stupid. They're kind of stupid. That's what they're gonna do. They say stupid shit. That's that's people become actors because they're able to interpret the story on the script and they're able to take direction well. They're not critical thinkers. So to get hostile at someone, for instance, Rachel Zegler, I'm not really gonna gonna pick on her for uh, her opinions or the statements she's made in the past. I'm really going to more talk about the anti-woke people out there that are giving her extra attention. Like if you if you if you dislike someone, if you dislike what they're saying, their messaging and what they support, why even acknowledge them? Like, why bother? Why why give them the extra attention that is only going to give them more notice? You know, like, she said some silly things about uh, the original Snow White movie, or animated film, because I guess it's like a German fairy tale that was interpreted different. I don't, I don't know. I don't really, I don't watch Disney movies. Like, the animated Disney films, I, I don't give a fuck, okay? The new... Disney movies, all the live action uh, remakes, I haven't seen a single one. So so for me, when I see someone who's like, uh, they're calling Snow Brown because she's Hispanic playing Snow White, it's like, yeah, I mean, the internet's going to jab at people and stuff like that, right? But she hasn't really been able to say anything for five weeks. And people are just like, look at this clip I found of this thing she said a year ago. It's like, man, you guys... You guys got to move on. You guys got to get a life. You guys got to focus on what's way more important than just the propaganda messaging of a 20-something year old that clearly doesn't have any real world experience aside from complaining about her her disadvantages. Okay? Cuz whether she has disadvantages or not, it really doesn't matter if you think someone's a dipshit, stop giving that dipshit attention. I don't, and I'm not calling Rachel Ziegler dipshit. Please don't misinterpret that. What I'm saying is, if you think someone's an asshole, why bother with them, okay? Like, if you really want to make a statement, just don't go see the movie. I'm already not going to, but I also already don't care. 
I wasn't going to see that movie anyway. So it's not really a statement on my part. But I'm saying for all these channels that keep on reporting on her, like, she wore this shirt that said this thing. Here's this clip she said about the movie she's in a year ago. It's like, there's just bigger things to worry about. You know, uh, actors like Ron Perlman, he's making the news kind of a lot during this, during the... Uh, the, the screen actors protest or whatever because he keeps on trying to sound like a tough guy and when you play a tough guy for like your entire adult life it's kind of hard to separate the persona from the reality of the, of, of the person you know what I mean but he's going around threatening pro producers and and people that and studio heads it's like that's your boss <laughs> Like, as, as tough as you want to sound, you are really complaining to your boss. And if, after all the dust settles, if they figure out a way to pay everyone fairly, which they're not going to because it's California, what the hell, you know, but let's say they find a way to pay everyone fairly. At your age, Mr. Perlman, it's very unlikely that some some guy running the show is going to be like, you know, it would be great if I could have that 70 year old asshole that called that threatened me and told me he's going to send people to my house. That, you know, we should hire that guy. It's like, you know, he's had a he's had a plenty. Of, his career has been been full of all sorts of ups and downs, but he's had a very successful career. If I'm being honest, I think Guillermo, Guillermo del, Tor del Toro's uh, Hellboy series, those two movies. Fantastic. I enjoyed those movies so much. They're some of the, like in my top 10 comic book films all the way until Hellboy starts throwing the baby around. I, it kind of loses me there. But that aside, the costumes, the effects, the stories, the, the actors, they all did a fantastic job in that movie. <clears throat> but, you know, that being said, maybe, maybe Ron Perlman is, is entering the uh, sunset stage of his career and if he wants to continue working, maybe he should try to stop sounding so tough because as a senior citizen, most people aren't threatened by folks that, you know, might be on the verge of being in depends. It just it's just it's just weird when a guy who's been an actor, his whole whole career is just like, oh, yeah, well, how'd you like it if we showed up to your house? It's like, what are you going to do? Pretend, you know, so. This, this Actors Guild thing, uh, the strike, I think is pretty funny because if it wasn't for people reporting on people not being able to talk, I wouldn't even know it was still happening because without all the noise being pushed by celebrities, it's actually the, 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 the media, the mainstream pollution, noise pollution has been far less than it normally has, you know? But, yeah, I don't know. Actors strike, do you even give a fuck? I know I don't. <laughs> Forgot it was even happening until people started complaining about folks I don't even watch. That's it. I'm just trying to do a vlog a day. Leave me alone.